Thank you very much. Uh, we're very pleased to be here today. And uh, we come from Barcelona. Uh, we have a video we want to show you. Mm, the good point of being here is that uh, we don't have to tell you, you know that digital manufacturing is going to change the way we do most of the things we do, like designing things, like manufacturing them, or just like buying them or consuming them. Um, I don't know how many of you know about the RepRap project. Okay, very little. Um, but we took that concept and we evolved it in Barcelona and we built something we just want to show you now. Um, basically, in Barcelona, what we have is a core, what we call a core unit, and what we do is we, we take all this knowledge we have in the Einstein's in the open source community, like the ones you are in here, and we make it happen to bring it to other people who might be Einstein's, but might be not be Einstein's, or like um, people, individuals, or people in teaching places, or people in companies. So, because we produce manufacturing um, machines that are good enough to be used in companies. Um, well, being very, very fast, we take community ideas, we take um, the collaboration with local suppliers, we take the collaboration with educational institutions, and we do um, devices, which are web RAM machines, and I will show you just in a minute, um, products. But we also do the workshops for disseminating this technology, and we also do other things like uh, coming up with guides for using some materials. So, okay, what is the web wrap about? Um, originally, it came with the idea of a machine that can manufacture a daughter of itself. So, there was a modern machine that printed in this case, all the blue parts we have. So this machine could print, again, blue parts for doing a new one. This came from a, an idea from a professor in the University of Bath in England, whose name is Odin Boyer, we collaborate with him. And uh, we took it to a further development to a machine that is able to print nice things. If you then have a minute, I have some parts manufactured here. Roger can show it to you. We have. Um, parts printed in different materials because we're coming up with a dual extruder. Uh, we are also printing other materials such as paste, such as food, chocolate, other things. We are printing elastic material like the one is just there, Spilaflex. You can bend it, by the way. Just you will not break it. Yeah, squeeze it. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. So, and I wanted you to put your video because I, I've talked about workshops. We, we do some workshops in Barcelona area. We, the good point is that we have the collaboration of the city hall of the city in Barcelona. We have this fantastic architecture. So many people come from all the world to uh, just play it. You, you are invited to come. Oh, if you want to come. se realiza el montaje mecánico de la impresora y posteriormente se realiza tanto el montaje de cableado como de todos los dispositivos electrónicos. Finalmente, en las últimas horas, se explica cómo darle un buen uso a la impresora y se explica todo el software necesario para aprovecharla al máximo y también se dan algunos consejos para sacarle el máximo rendimiento. So he's Eric, he's one of the guys in charge of uh, 3D development. I have to tell you, most of the parts have been developed by interns with host in our institution. Actually, the device for the LCD, the graphic LCD, was designed by a, a lady who came from the MIT. And you see Roger here, so you can share a beer with him. This, this building we are doing the workshop in is uh, beneath the Akbar Tower, and it's in the design hub in Barcelona. Uh, well, good point is that you have direct flights from New York City, I think, twice a day, all the year. But you see that most of it is about the community experience. It's not about the product, because this machine is a 3D printer, but it can be a milling center, or it could be a laser cutting machine. So this guy is coming from a company, and, with, and he is Xavi. So we are making it happen to have a democratized manufacturing domestic center.
So we sell the kits. We invite you to come and assemble machines in the workshop. Uh, for those of you that want to buy one, we sell that in euros. We sell the machine for the kits for 700 euros, which is about $1,000. We do the workshop for 1,000 euro, which is $1,300 more or less. And what? Okay. What's the point of being here? So, in from Barcelona, which is here, the red circle, we have a network of distributors and people whom we are keen to have workshops. And you see that this is broader Europe because we have from final from Finland, Turkey, Northern Africa, uh, and we are developing more. Especially in Spain, it's not all the circles painted off, but. What if we want to take this to the whole world? Uh, okay, uh, you know about this. It doesn't make sense to have a big, large manufacturing facility in one place because what we want is to have it local. We, by the way, want everybody in the community being having ideas and, and coming to us and saying, look, we, we have this sort of machine or this sort of upgrade you could put in the machine so we can force that. So we want to to be local. If, you want, if we want to be local, we have to build communities like the ones we've built in, in Europe. And so we were approaching different places in the world. One of them is the US. Our, plan, our plans are to do what we do in, in Rebra Barcelona, but maybe in New York City. Uh, firstly, with the local sales workshops, but coming up with designs, and why not? We have the Bissingham 3D, the New York City 3D, if you are keen to, to collaborate. So we've been talking with many people in the US, but hopefully soon we'll be here around asking you for more things. So thank you very much. We'll be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because you were right on the 10 minutes, we actually had time for a couple of questions. We need to pass. Yeah, also Roger is asking me if you can take the parts back when you're finished with them. <laughs> Especially the black one. Um, what, what can we do here in New York? And how do we get involved? How can we sort of help you guys? Well, first of all, we need place for setting up this core unit. In Barcelona, we have this in the Polytechnical University campus because we, we built on a lot of students and interns that come. The, many, many people ask us, OK, what's the business model of this? I'll tell you, the business model is that every uh, income it's generating is being in, uh, an income that goes to further developments in terms of uh, people developing things. So if we have an intern, we can grant him an internship or her. Um, but the project itself is installed inside a non-profit foundation. So all the money in goes for new developments. In here, we should find some something like that. Okay, do we have time for is there any question? Just, uh, well, okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you.